I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will prove the identity cosecant x divided by cosecant x minus 1 plus cosecant x divided by cosecant x plus 1 equals to 2 times secant square x. Now, let's begin from the left side, which seems to be more complicated. We will simplify this as the right side. So, we can take cosecant x common, right? So, we get cosecant x common. And we could write this expression as 1 over cosecant x minus 1 plus 1 over cosecant x plus 1, correct? Now, we can take a common denominator here, which is product of these two, right? Which is cosecant x minus 1 times cosecant x plus 1. Now that gets cross multiplied, so we have cosecant x plus 1 plus cosecant x minus 1, correct? Combining the terms in the numerator, what do we get? Cosecant x plus cosecant x gives us 2 cosecant x, 1 minus 1 is 0, so we get 2 cosecant x. In the denominator, we are multiplying sum and difference. So we get square difference of squares, right? So what we get here is cosecant x square x minus 1. So that's what we get in the denominator. Now, what does that remind you of? So let's look into some trigonometric Pythagorean identities. We learned cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1. Now to get the identity in cosecant which is 1 over sine, if I divide all these terms by sine square x, what do I get? Cos over sine is cotangent, right? So we get cot square x plus 1 equals to cosecant square x, right? So cosecant square x is cot square x plus 1. So that is the identity which we can use. Cosecant square x minus 1 is cot square x. We write this as cot square x equals to cosecant square x minus 1. So that is also we can write this identity as, correct? So let's do this. Instead of the denominator of cosecant x square as minus 1, we'll write this as cot square x. So what we get here is numerators when you multiply we get 2 cosecant square x and the denominator cosecant square x minus 1 I'm writing as cot square x. Right. Now we want to show that this is 2 secant square x. So let me write them in terms of sine and cosine. Cosecant is 1 over sine square x. So we get 2 over sine square x. So that is the first part. And the cot square x is cos square x over sine square x. So it is cos square x over sine square x. Is that clear? So we wrote this cot square x 1 over cot square x as this part. Is it okay? And 2 cosecant square x as 2 over sine square x. Now that could be simplified by cancelling sine square x. So what you get here is 2 over cos square x, which is 2 secant square x. That is the right side, right? So that is how you could prove this identity. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So we use this Pythagorean identity to prove the given trigonometric identity. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.